Oh, oh, man. Guys, I'm telling you, if you are not wrestling freestyle in Greco, you might as well just say, hey, I, I want to be really, really good, but I'm not willing to do half of what it takes to be really I'm telling you guys right now, half of what you need to do to be really, really good, part of it involves wrestling freestyle and Greco. I promise you, the biggest gain some of my guys make is during freestyle and Greco, and sometimes it's not even the fact that they're wrestling a different style. It's the fact that that time of year, there's no pressure. There's no looming state tournament. I'm not cutting weight. I don't have all this pressure on me to do all this stuff. I don't have all these tournaments every weekend. It's very, very, very chilled out, right? And it's like a breath of fresh air for a different style. But man, the skills that you learn, all right? And this is one of those, I can't say in folk style, it's similar to this because a leg whip in freestyle is something that's really only nature to freestyle. I'm going to show you what a leg whip is. So if Kale's trying to leg lace me, all right, and he's trying to get my, my knees together and then my legs cross, right? That's how he leg laces me. So he threads his arm under right here, and this is how he gets to a leg lace, right? For you guys that have seen or not seen a leg lace. Now, there's a little, little element of surprise when he's trying to leg lace me. If he shelves my leg, go back to where you're trying to lace me. If he steps up his left foot and shelves my leg, there's a leg whip that I can hit in freestyle, right? And in freestyle matches would be my two points because that's my counter, my exposure. Now, what, what Nolf has done with that similar concept with this Win dixie is use this leg whip from this Iranian position, all right? But what he does is, is a lot of guys will bring the arm across and put it in their armpit. To me, that's not a great idea. This is what I'm talking about. So when I split here, okay, and I reach across, a lot of guys put this foot in their armpit, and what will happen is, is as I try to dump him and finish, if he really takes his heel hard down to the mat, it starts to put me in a bad spot, okay? So, and again, this is a single leg finish camp, but I want to make sure that we're talking about high level finish. When I'm trying to finish this Iranian, finish on a single leg, when I reach across, I reach across and stay on the sock. Okay, because I want to whip him across to this position and then I want to start dumping him down to this. Notice I didn't fall down. And then I have his foot up in the air. I'm working across his body. I'm taking his foot towards his head. That's ideal. Sometimes we end up on our hip and our shoulder. But my goal when I finish that Iranian position, I don't want to fall over with him. Now, this is where he uses this Win dixie with this guy pulling the leg across to kind of get to the position. So, he's going to go single leg. Right here, he's going to split, right? When he goes to split, and he starts to work my leg across here, okay? When he works my leg across, that's the side that I'm going to whip to, okay? So if he's taking my left leg across his body, and I'm just going to step off for a second, this is the leg that's going to whip him to his back. That's where he goes, right here. He whips the guy to his back. Now... Secondly, if he's on the left leg, he reaches across with his right hand to this foot. So if he's on my left leg, my right hand reaches across to his far ankle. So when he whips him to his back right here, this hand's free to work. Okay? And then you'll see him, he'll scoop the head, get this bottom leg out from under him, or hold him there for near fall. Again, I'm watching and kind of guessing at what he's doing. I don't, I've never seen a video of him showing this before. But so many people would keep asking me, so this is kind of my version of what I think is going on. All right? So he's going to post and split. Okay? He starts to take my leg across. If he's my right leg across his body, left hand goes to the far lace. As I go to the far lace and whip, notice I have his foot and I pull it to him. Because again, if I have far ankle, he can't circle and cover. Right? And then it's here to this position. Okay? Or sometimes he'll come under, right? And then change knees. By the time I let go of that foot, he's in bad shape, right? I just basically hit him with a hit him with the cow catcher right there. <coughs> so if he's bringing my left leg across, my left leg whips him to his back, my right hand reaches across to the far ankle. If he's taking my right leg across, my right leg whips him to his back, my left hand reaches across to the far ankle. Does that make sense to everybody? We good there? What's up? Man, you're making me work too hard. All right? So on my left leg, 
Let, let's do it this way so you can see what my hands are. So he posts and splits. Here, he starts to, and again, I'm putting my hands on the mat. In, in a real match, my head's on the mat. And I'm looking for this, looking for this toe right here. Okay, he's got my left leg, so right hand needs to get his laces. Then I'm bringing my, bringing my hip under and I'm whipping him to his back right here. Okay, notice my head and chest come up. And again, I've seen him finish by raking the elbow and scooping the head. He keeps this foot. Try to belly down. He keeps that foot so he can't belly down. Most of the time he ends up here. And again, when I, I get to this position, keep his foot till you can change knees. Then I'm right back here, under hook, trapping him on his back. Play in there, go!